Hey there, this is Gerald Cigar Street. So one of the goals that I have for this channel, besides just doing cigar reviews, is to promote cigar-related art. I am an artist, I'm a sculptor, and a lot of the artwork that I've done is just based on my passion for cigars. I mean, the nice thing about doing artwork related to cigars and wine and things like that is instead of just creating something that you put on a shelf or put on the wall somewhere and just look at, you can create something that's actually functional and becomes a conversational piece, and you still get the same kind of enjoyment out of that as you do is taking a traditional sculpture and sitting it in the middle of a room. So I'm going to start this video off with my seahorse ashtray and just kind of give a little behind the scenes about this, kind of talk about the concept behind it and, and my goals with it as well. Now this sculpture still has a ways to go. It's, um, it's far from being complete, but this is a little background glimpse of one of my pieces um, that you should see in the near future. So I'll bring up some closer images of it, um, some photos, and then I'll just give a little brief discussion on my motivation for creating this little guy here. Okay, the seahorse sculpture for me has a little bit of a special meaning in that the first wax sculpture that I ever uh, did back in 2008 was a female warrior riding on a seahorse, a giant seahorse. So basically what I've done is I've taken that sculpture, removed the female warrior, and put a saddle on this on this piece where I can uh, use it as a uh, cigar rest, as you can see here. So the whole idea was just to kind of simplify the sculpture, uh, remove the female warrior. She had like a spear and everything, and I'll throw an image on this screen uh, of the original sculpture. But to remove that, create this unique saddle where I can turn that into a bowl. And I'll probably make that a lot deeper, but turn it into a bowl that can be used to... Uh, for putting in the uh, cigar ash. This piece definitely had a, uh, you know, I put a lot of time into it back in uh, 2008. It was a learning experience for me. So it was just a growing piece uh, for me to, to learn about uh, sculpting with wax and everything like that. So this, this is one of those pieces where I just thought it'd be cool to turn into an ashtray. It's extremely detailed, extremely unique, and it's just a great opportunity to um, create something that's never been done before. Um, I've done octopus ashtrays and I know I've seen others as well. I've done skull ashtrays um, and different arts like that. I'm currently working on a wolf ashtray. But, you know, as far as the seahorse, especially one that's kind of in the fantasy realm, which is more my style of art, I thought this would be definitely a uh, fun piece to work on. And you see, no matter where you turn, and see if I can get a close-up image. No matter where you turn, there's just tons of detail on this guy. The saddle, the barnacles on the on the on the body of the seahorse. It's just like I said, it was just a, it was a project that was a great learning experience. Uh, gave me an introduction to wax, which is a um, a difficult and more more rewarding medium to work with. And um, like I said, just a good opportunity to take this, take something that I. Um, feel like I grew with and turned into another one of my passions now, which is, uh, of course, cigar smoking. So, yeah, I definitely look forward to having this guy available here in the future. I still have a lot to work do, to do on it. I still need to do a lot of cleanup here in the saddle, have some work in the lower body. And the other problem, too, is when you're creating sculptures like this, the goal is to, you got to create something that's functional with the mold. And sometimes you got to compromise the art to do that. And kind of give an example over here this is the original sculpture for my octopus ashtray and I've shown this ashtray in multiple videos so I had to design this guy um, in a manner where I could create a mold where it just made sense to to produce the piece um, ideally it would have been fun to have arms coming out all over the place but once the mold becomes more complicated, the costs go up, and it's just not really not worth it at that time. Uh, yeah. So, same thing with the seahorse. The original seahorse, had, original seahorse had fins coming over here. Like I said, it had a female warrior with a spear, and you know, it's just it becomes a lot more complicated piece with with parts, especially when you think about shipping and everything else. That it just made sense where I had to um, scale it back. But that's it. Like I said, these videos, I want to just kind of give a behind the scenes glimpse of some of the pieces I'm working on and just kind of show, you know, what the art's like behind the scenes. I'll do some videos too. And I've already done some with the Wolf Ashtray where I'm actually doing some sculpting, like a, a demo there, but just something fun to work on. And um, I'll see you guys on the next video.